Tesla's plans to build 25,000 cars within the next three years don't seem to have faced China's most promising electric vehicle startups. With executives at the Beijing Auto Shows saying Elon Musk can bring it on, they have been presenting more and more new concepts and put them in production in the last couple of years. But still, you might be curious why Chinese electric car makers are still confident in their ability to compete with Tesla. We will show you 10 reasons why local manufacturers are set to compete with the Tesla models in the future. But first, we are giving away $100 to one of our lucky subscribers. All you have to do is watch the entire video, leave a comment with your greatest takeaway, like, share, and subscribe. So without further ado, let's get right into it. China, the world's largest car market is heavily pushing for zero emission vehicles to combat its pollution issues. So this year's auto show is packed with electric cars. We picked out 10 of the best electric vehicles made by Chinese companies that can outsell Tesla. Number 10. Link & Co Zero Link & Co is not exactly popular outside China, but it's been doing well in the Asian country, and it's looking to expand shortly. Although it is described as a concept, the one and only conceptual thing about this car is the drivetrain and the platform. Design-wise, the Zero concept doesn't look too wild, as it shares many design features with existing Link & Co models. Its concept is fitted with multiple electric motors, meaning the crossover is all-wheel driven. The motors deliver a combined output of 536 horsepower, which may not be retained for the production model. There's no info about the battery yet, but Link & Co says the drivetrain provides a range of around 435 miles in the NEDC cycle. This range will decrease in the more affordable models. The Chinese company also brags that the battery has been designed to resist degradation for at least 124,000 miles and to last more than 1.2 million miles. Number 9. Polestar 3 In June 2021, Polestar released the first teaser of its electric SUV, the Polestar 3. The company also announced that it will build the vehicle in the United States. Take a look at what we know so far about Polestar's next big launch. The Polestar 3's production will take place in China as well, at the company's Chengdu plant, as local production can allow pricing of the EV attractively and make regional adaptations. Polestar 3 will share its platform and battery with the XC90's upcoming electric siblings, the Volvo Embla. It will be the SPA platform, a skateboard chassis with a different floor assembly. Polestar is developing a new P10 motor for powering the rear wheels of its future EVs, which can deliver up to 450 kilowatt or 603 horsepower. A two-speed gearbox is also under development. The company revealed the new motor and gearbox developments in an investor presentation in September 2023. Polestar has confirmed that it is targeting a WLTP range of more than 600 kilometers which is around 373 miles for its next three launches, including the Polestar 3. In that case, expect the luxury Aero SUV to deliver an EPA estimate range of around 300 miles. Number 8. Xpeng P7 Chinese electric car maker Xpeng's follow-up to the G3 SUV is the new P7, a sedan that went on sale in its home market with what is said to be the longest range in the Middle Kingdom. The key to this is the prismatic lithium-ion battery cells. The P7 is available with two battery capacities, 70.8 kWh and 80.9 kWh. The former delivers a range of 568 km on the NEDC cycle, but it's the latter that achieves the headline figure of a whopping 706 km, verified by the company's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. That's a significant increase over the Tesla Model 3's maximum range of 668 kilometers. Lastly, the car is available with adaptive damping as well as Brembo braking system. Pricing for the X7 ranges from 229,900 yuan, which is approximately $35,850 for the base standard range rear wheel drive model to 349,900 yuan which is around 54,563 for the fully loaded all-wheel drive model after government subsidies. Byton M. Byte After a couple of conceptual peaks and a ride in a camouflage prototype, 
Beneath the design, the all-electric M-Byte is available in two configurations. The entry rear-wheel drive model features a 270 horsepower, 200 kilowatt electric motor on the rear axle. With a full charge of its 72 kilowatt hour battery pack, it should be able to cruise for an estimated 224 miles. Stepping up to all-wheel drive adds a second E-motor on the front axle for a total of 402 horsepower and 300 kilowatt. The all-wheel drive spec also upgrades to a larger 95 kilowatt hour battery, bumping the M bytes range to 270 miles. Note that both of those range estimates are on the global WLTP testing cycle. Expect some shrinkage when the more conservative US EPA makes its estimates. Biden says the M byte starts at a fairly reasonable $45,000 before any available EV incentives. That's almost unbelievably low, putting the electric SUV well under the premium price range of competition like the Audi e-tron, Jaguar I-Pace, and Tesla Model X, all of which start around $70,000 to $75,000. Number 6. NIO ET7 This is NIO's first salon, a direct Tesla Model S rival that delivered its first batch on March this year, starts at around $51,000. It's called the ET7, and the big news is range. The top-of-the-line model has a ginormous 150 kilowatt-hour battery pack, and says the company a range of over 621 miles or a nice round 1,000 kilometers. Given that this is based on China's NEDC testing protocol, the WLTP test in Europe would most likely yield a lower, more realistic figure. The ET7 is brisk enough with twin e-motors producing a combined 644 brake horsepower and 627 pound force foot of torque 0 to 62 miles per hour and takes 3.9 seconds. It ought to be comfortable too with standard air suspension that scans the road ahead to look for bumps. The interior is typically minimalist with a 12.8 inch AMOLED display running the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon platform and 5G. The company's voice-activated assistant Nomi is back too, and a 1000-watt 23-speaker Hi-Fi is standard on all models. Number 5. Muse by Iconic Dubai-based W Motors and Iconic Motors have teamed up to unveil the Muse, a fully electric self-driving car at Auto Shanghai 2019. It features an advanced infotainment system and smart onboard services, innovative widescreen user interfaces, and advanced cloud computed connectivity. The Muse was fully designed in-house by the W Motors design team. Industry leaders such as Magna Steer and Microsoft USA helped the team develop the project. It is worth mentioning that according to the official, Iconic Muse is committed to reaching the L5 autopilot capability. Iconic Muse should be able to deal with the mistakes that other drivers are expected to make start and stop when traffic jams and can find parking spaces, slow down parking, and avoid getting parking tickets. Number 4. Geely Vision Starbus On the 8th of June 2021, Geely Design in Shanghai, China presented a new design vision derived from Geely's expanding Cosmos design philosophy that pushes the boundaries of technology and innovation in the new digital age. Vision Starbus examines a new and alternative expression of the expanding Cosmos design philosophy, which Gilly Auto is using as a design board for future models. The styling of the concept car is very different from the current style, with butterfly doors at the front and rear, and though the lines around the wheels are not that decorative, a strip of lights is certainly futuristic. The whole vehicle visually extends from the center towards the sides, up and down, giving the face of the vehicle a more powerful and three-dimensional aura, the car maker says. Unfortunately, Gilly has already ruled out any chances of the Vision Starbus making it into production in its current form, but its design elements will make their way to production models in the future. Number 3. MG Cyberster The Cyberster, developed by the team at the MG Advanced Design Center in London, is a two-door, two-seater sports car Recalling the brand's tradition, drawing several styling cues from the classic MGB Roadster, while also ushering in new high-tech features, including an interactive gaming cockpit and 5G connectivity. The Cyberster's intelligent all-electric architecture 
will enable an approximate EV range of 800 km, approximately 500 miles, and deliver a 0 to 100 km per hour. In less than 3 seconds, you can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. While the body is designed to enhance aerodynamic performance, the classically shaped MG grille is also serving as an air duct to ensure airflow over the car's chassis. MG currently offers three plug-in models in the UK. The established MG Z's EV, the game-changing all-new MG5 EV, and MG H plug-in, all backed up by MG's incredible seven-year warranty and fast-developing dealer network. Its UK Advanced Design HQ employs over 40 designers. Number 2. Chorus Mile 11 Concept by Chorus Chorus Mile 2 concept car is a four-door coupe with a low and smooth body, a blue painted body that looks futuristic. In the front part, the new car adopts a simple design with a large area of white color. The light group on both sides is small in size. The lower part is equipped with an AC-shaped daytime running light and it is also equipped with a vertical air inlet. The lower air intake has a trapezoidal design for the cooling requirements of the powertrain and battery. Chorus Auto's new SUV, the Chorus 5, starts to pre-sale in China market with price range of 148,800 to 168,800 yuan. Number 1. Pininfarina GT by Karma Automotive Karma is hoping to ride the Tesla wave of success and capitalize on the soaring valuations of its competitors. With production facilities in Moreno Valley, Karma is the only US-based electric vehicle startup that is producing and selling vehicles other than Tesla. Last year, it rolled out about 550 of its Rivero GT, an ultra-luxury electric vehicle that starts around $135,000. But Illy, a chief of staff at Karma said that the automotive wants to ramp up production of the Rivero GTE, set to release mid-year 2021, and bring down the cost to $100,000, so the car appears to be a broader market. Karma is trying to penetrate a market that traditional car makers from Audi to Hyundai are trying to establish a foothold. Despite the pandemic, most car makers haven't pulled back electric vehicle investment a sign of just how a market is expected to grow. Karma Executive said, The company is not relying on its sporty car for success. It has pivoted to become a car and technology company, an acknowledgement that car making alone is too capital intensive to sustain. Comment down below what you think about Tesla's future in China. Do you think Tesla will be dominating the Chinese electric market for a long time? Or is it just a temporary dominance before the Chinese companies learn how to properly build Chinese best-selling electric cars? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, you might also love this.